Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my memory spread for the week of February 27th through March 5th. And this was the week that Daisy Jones and the Six premiered on Amazon Prime. And thanks to Domi for giving me this idea, I thought I would do a kit and a spread to commemorate that. So we are going to be using Stay Groovy from Caress Press, which looks a little something like this, which I'm obsessed with. Like total Daisy Jones vibes. I'm so excited about this spread. So this is what the kit looks like. This is the full kit format in glossy paper, which is what I always get from Caress Press. And I'm obsessed with this kit, honestly. So very excited about that. And then we, of course, have some add-ons and whatnot. So we have the 15mm. I got the Fashion Girls with different skin colors and hair color. So this one I got the red hair to match Daisy Jones and this one the blonde hair to look like Miss Karen. And then I'm going to be pairing the kit with sparkly gold. So we have some stuff from Planet Hannah. Firstly, I have her February font of the month script sampler. I got some custom quotes with quotes from the book. And then I have for overlays her Planet Hannah SPC collab, which I believe is still in shop. So this is like the groovy theme one. This one came with an add-on. So we have some hole protectors and tall box and whatnot. We have the sheets with the headers and the full boxes. And then the bottom washi page. And then for underlays, I'm going to be pulling in the rock on underlays with the guitars because I thought it was very fitting for a Daisy Jones spread. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and put down the base of the spread and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's just get right into it. So I know I said at the beginning of the month that I was hoping that March was going to be like the month that I get back into like the full swing of YouTube and stuff. And obviously, I've fallen a little short on that. Um, this video was actually supposed to go up on Monday of this week, but my trip to San Antonio to see my sister was pushed forward a day, so I ended up leaving Sunday instead of Monday, and I just didn't have time to do, like, my voiceover or anything like that, but I had every intention on getting this video up in a timely manner, so... I think it's a thought that counts, but I said before that I was hoping that this trip to San Antonio was going to be like the mental reset that I needed to like get into the full swing of things again, and there were some things that happened. This trip just didn't go as planned, let me just say that. Long story short, we got into a car accident. <laughs> um, yeah, we got into a car accident, it's fine, everyone's fine, the it was basically just cosmetic damage. It wasn't, like, super um, terrible or anything like that, but it definitely put a damper on the trip. So, yeah, it wasn't the mental reset I thought it was going to be, but whatever. I'll go into, like, the full details of my couple days in San Antonio once I get to, like, the plan with me for this current week that we're in, but for now, I'll just leave you with that. Um, hopefully... We'll see. <laughs> I I don't know. I went to San Antonio and I came back home and I don't know. I feel like although the trip didn't go as planned, I still feel a little more excited about planning than I was like before my trip. I think I said that like I felt like planning was sort of feeling like a chore before I left and now I'm actually kind of excited to get back into it. So I'm hoping that I can like, you know, start getting caught up in my planner again. I hate being behind and all that stuff. Even if it's just a week, I hate it. So I'm hoping that things are going to look good going forward. But anyways, um, like I said in the intro of this video, this spread was inspired by Daisy Jones and the Six. And I figured it would make sense to talk about that for a little bit. So as of today, when I'm recording this voiceover, we have six episodes out of the show on Prime. They've been releasing the shows like three episodes at a time, so I'm assuming this Friday when this video goes up, we're going to get another three episodes. Maybe, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how many episodes the series is supposed to be, so we'll see. Um, but if you guys are watching the show and if you read the book, how are you feeling? Are you liking it? How do you feel about the changes? Let me know. I am enjoying it, but I would honestly say that I'd probably enjoy it a lot more if I hadn't just reread the book and had, like, the book, 
like in the back of my mind while I'm watching every episode because I feel like I'm being very nitpicky about some of the changes that they made. Which, with any sort of adaptation, you know that there's going to be changes because they obviously have to make it like interesting enough for like TV or film. Um, but I don't know. I feel like some of the changes that they made, I much prefer them in the book. Like, for example, one of the changes that they made was how um, Karen and Graham started their relationship. I much prefer the way it started, like in the book, than in the movie, or not the movie, the TV show. And one of the changes I know is coming is that they're going to make Camila jealous over Billy and Daisy's relationship, which if you guys read the book, you know that Camila really liked Daisy and she was never like the scorned woman or anything like that. So I'm not looking forward to seeing that play out on TV. We're definitely like starting to get like little hints of that, but like... There's a lot more coming. I know there is. So I'm not a huge fan of that. My biggest issue actually has like nothing to do with the plot at all. It actually has to do with, um, I, well, okay. So the, the two times that I've read Daisy Jones, it was over audio, which I definitely think the audiobook is the way to go if you plan to read the book because it is fantastic. It is a full cast. So every actor or every character has a different narrator and... I don't know. I just, I much prefer the voices for the narrators in the audiobook. I feel like they are very fitting to the characters. One of the biggest changes was that Karen in the book, for her narrator, it was obviously an American narrator and, um, or at least an American accent. I have no idea who narrated it, but she's also very like fun and bubbly. And I feel like the actress that plays Karen in the show is Suki Waterhouse, who I'm, I absolutely love her, and I love her music, but she's English first, so she has an English accent, and I also don't feel like she's as fun and bubbly as, like, the narrator, and I feel like it's, like, lacking in that space. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion, but overall, I'm enjoying it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the, what's coming next, but we'll see. We'll see how my feelings change before the end of the show. But anyways, let's get in to talking about this week, shall we? So I actually didn't do a plan with me for the week before this because I just wasn't feeling it. But because of that, you guys wouldn't have already known that my sister was in town the weekend before this. So she was planning on leaving Monday, which she did. I did mark that down in my planner, but before she left, we went to Dutch Bros to get coffee together. You know, need to get our caffeine fix. And then after that, I started doing my laundry and then she took off back to San Antonio. So I had to mark down that I was sad that she left as per usual. And then after that, I had some chores to do. I had to go to the library and return some books that were about to be overdue and then I had finished reading so I did that came home and had a YouTube binge trying so desperately to get caught up on YouTube videos because I'm so so behind it's embarrassing but I'll get there one day and then after a couple hours of YouTube binge I finished a book and then I pulled stickers for an upcoming spread and then moving on to Tuesday now I woke up early and I had a bit of a planning time in like my functional reading planner. I was behind on some things that I had to get cut up on, so I marked that down. I had to do some cleaning around the house, vacuuming, taking out the trash, dishes, all of that jazz. And then after I got done with all the chores, I started a new book this day. I did some de-stashing, posting some stuff up for sale on my Instagram stories, and then I filmed a plan with me this evening. And then after that, I went to bed because your girl was exhausted. So, went to bed early on Tuesday. Now, moving on to Wednesday. First thing I did bright and early was I did a voiceover so that I could upload it my plan with me this morning. And that's exactly what I did. I picked up some of SPC's new releases this day. And then I had to go to the library to pick up some holds that had come in the day before. So, on my way there, I did get McDonald's for lunch because I had not eaten. I usually don't eat breakfast, so I typically get a really early lunch. So, chose McDonald's this day. Went to the library, picked up my things, and then I came back and started reading my book. And then because it was the first of the month on Wednesday, it was time for all of the pets' monthly prevention. 
So it was it's always a big ordeal, like a big event to give all the dogs their prevention and the cats and stuff. Because while I'm at my parents, between myself and them, we have a six dogs in the house and two cats. So it's just it's a it's an event. It's it takes a lot to keep them separated so they each get their right dose and they're not eating each other's prevention. It's just yeah, it's always fun. So, yeah, we did that and then moving on to Thursday, started off by filming my reading plan with me this morning because that always takes me forever to do. <laughs> so, I like to do that bright and early in the morning and then I did some binge watching and then my sister actually came back into town this day. I think she had like parties and stuff on the previous weekend and the upcoming weekend so she came into town two weekends in a row but she because she has to go to work and stuff she couldn't just stay in town so she was back on Thursday and then me and her went to do some grocery shopping for the house we went to Taco Casa for dinner got some stuff for the entire family and we came home right in time to miss the thunderstorm that blew through Waco so that was super fun and then I finished my book this evening because thunderstorms and rain just put me in a reading mood so I read until I finished my book and then I went to bed Moving on to Friday now, I woke up early and started editing my video and uploading that to YouTube, and then I watched Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy. I think that premiered the week before this, if I'm not mistaken, so as per usual, I'm hating what's happening on Grey's Anatomy. I love Station 19. Grey's Anatomy just isn't hitting the way it used to. I... I just, I've invested so much time in Grey's Anatomy that I'm going to keep watching the new episodes, but if I'm ever in the mood to, like, re-watch the entire series, I'll probably only watch until, like, season, like, 13 or 14 or whatever and, like, stop because the seasons after that just aren't it. I hate them, honestly, so especially now with Ellen Pompeo gone and Meredith gone, it's just, yeah. Let me know if you guys are watching Grey's Anatomy what your feelings and thoughts are on this season and where the show is going because I feel like they should just end it at this point. It's been on TV long enough. So anyways, I started a book after that and then I went to the gym and then when I came home, I sat down and watched the first three episodes of Daisy Jones and the Six. Now, Saturday was me and my sister's day to hang out and stuff. She went to her party on Friday, so Saturday she was free to hang out with me. So we woke up really early and we drove to Bucky's. We got breakfast at Bucky's and I can't go into Bucky's without buying one of their new t-shirts. So I got a couple t-shirts. I have quite the collection of Bucky's t-shirts. If you're from Texas and you've been to a Bucky's, you know what I mean. Like they're fire. They're top tier t-shirts, but anyways, um, and then we went to Mother Neff State Park, which is about 30 minutes away from Bucky's, and Bucky's is about 45 minutes from where we live, um, so we went to Mother Neff, and we went on a couple hours hike, I want to say. It was a super nice day on this day, so it was quite lovely. Then on my way home, we got gas, and then I got home, and I started watching the stream for, I want to say it was the book troupe book club on YouTube so I watched that and then we got Wendy's for dinner as a family and then I spent the rest of my night reading my book so last but not least Sunday of this week slept in because that hike I was exhausted I needed to sleep in and plus I woke up early to do that yeah I needed to sleep in this day I don't I don't know why I did this <laughs> I'm just not realizing that I marked down that I got happy mail on Sunday, but that is obviously wrong. I obviously switched that up with something that happened on Saturday. Because obviously the mail doesn't run on Sunday. That's kind of embarrassing and I hate myself for not catching that earlier, but just ignore that. I probably won't fix it because I'm lazy, but it's there, so we're just going to work with it. But anyways. I went to the gym on Sunday, and then I came home, took a nap, did some reading, filmed the base to another video, and then I watched The Last of Us this evening. So, 
yeah, that is pretty much it for this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, I'll have all the shops featured linked in the description box down below, as well as any coupon codes or referral links I have for them. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!